and have it well and throw throwing ourselves at learning something else. Throwing yeah. ourselves yeah. at yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's it's doing things under stress. It's because we know a different way. So now with brain gel, you know that you have a way of totally relaxing your system, integrating the brain, and moving on with comfort and ease. Look, if I can't do something with comfort and ease, I don't want to do it. It's just not worth it to me now to do that. It's like I want to feel good while I'm doing it. Take a very specific example. There's this one little guy um, who's in first grade who spins, 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 spins all the time. Spins down the hall, spins in PE class when he's supposed to be sitting. And I've learned now that he is actually giving himself what he needs. He needs that stimulation and he's going to be able to spin in PE class. Feeling the difference between trying really hard and relaxing and letting both sides of your brain integrate mm -hmm. and it becoming effortless. It's almost like it's so simple that you can't believe that it could have um, it could have large impact. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I've seen that it can. My student has uh, a lot of trouble focusing. Uh, he's constantly calling out, leaning back on the chair, putting hand sanitizer in other people's hairs, getting fights at lunch. Everything you can imagine that's disruptive to learning and to the community as a whole. And I was thinking about bringing him into my classroom for 15 minutes and doing some kind of repatterning and uh, reflect, reflecting program just like I learned here. In Brain Gym 101, you'll learn about your learning profile. You'll see how it affects your development and communication. And you'll learn exercises to balance the brain. If you'd like to hear more stories from homeschool parents or from teachers, please go to my website below.